Hello everyone and welcome back to another review with me John. As you can see, I'm somehow talking without my lips moving even though this is a perfect representation of my face. That's because I got this mask from a company called Mask Alike. Uh, you submit a picture of your face there are they give you instructions on how to do so in the best lighting um, and the best way to make it fit your face without looking stretched or shrunken um, I followed all the directions sent out to, to get my order with my picture and this is what I got what do you think Does it look like my face I know there's you can definitely tell there's a little bit lighter than my skin tone here um, one thing they did suggest was take the picture outside in the sun because um, that was the best way to get the most natural color for your skin tone. Of course, I'm indoors, different lighting, so it's going to look a bit different, but with bright sun or brighter lights, it's, it matches pretty well. And now, when I take this off, you can see just how much. It looks just like my normal face. I think the nose is a little pinched in. I think my, my real nose is a little bit wider maybe. Um, my lips might be a little bit bigger in real life than what's on here. But overall, it looks pretty good, I'd say. And I really like the strap on this too. So that you get like, this top strap has a little uh, adjuster thing. So if it gets weaker, you can just adjust it tighter. And then it has the bottom part as well. There you go. Mask alike. It's my face in a mask. I don't think that's their slogan. That's just what I'm saying right now. Anyway, let's go ahead and do what this video is here for. I am at Buffalo Wild Wings because they just came out with, for a limited time, a chicken sandwich hand breaded chicken sandwich um, they had this at a limited few stores um, a, a little while back and it wasn't clear where it was all the ones around me didn't, didn't have it on their menu but now it's at all locations including mine so I went ahead and got it there are different ways to get it you can get like a a buffalo ranch one you can get a Nashville hot one and there's like a southern style but I just got the classic one um, you can also get this with wild sauce put on it but I did not because I wanted to see how good the actual hand breaded chicken is it comes with chicken pickles mayonnaise and what they're calling a challa roll or a challa if you hear me and it looks more like brioche because it's just like shiny when i think of challah i think of more like the knotted style i know not all challah has that in there but i think if you're going to call it challah you should have had at least like some kind of braiding in the top of this so it would look more like that because i think th there's not really a huge difference between challah and brioche otherwise but it should be a little bit sweet on the on the roll but you can see uh, it does look like a big hand breaded chicken breast. Um, decent size. The other hand breaded ones I've seen at different places are a little bit thicker than that. But what's most important in this is how it tastes. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Let me get right here where the pickle is too. You can see it's not super thin, but it's not as big as some of the ones that other places have had. That pickle is really good. It gives it a nice zesty dill flavor. I'm going to take a bite over here where there's no pickle. The chicken has a good flavor to it. It's not as crunchy. Um, 
the breading's not as crunchy as some of the other places I've been to. And I think if you count all the chicken that's on the outside, just poking out of this bun, I think you end up with the same amount of chicken as some of the big, thicker chicken sandwiches. I think this is just probably pounded out a little bit before it's breaded. It's got a good flavor. Take a bite where this mayo is coming out of the bottom here. This is really good. It is a chicken breast, but it's not dry. The bun doesn't really have much flavor to it at all, but it is light where it needs to be and it's dense where it needs to be. It almost has a pretzel flavor to it. This, I would say, is better than the church's chicken hand-breaded sandwich. Um, it's better than the, the Burger King chicken one, which I would only suggest you getting in the spicy version because the regular version has absolutely no seasoning or flavor in it whatsoever. Um, but the spicy one, um, the spicy chicken sandwich is basically what they should have started with with their original one and then made a spicier version of that for the spicy one. But this one, you can see in there, there's seasonings in that breading. And you can taste them. It's a really good chicken sandwich. And you know, for a place known for chicken, I think it took them a little bit too long to get into the chicken sandwich game. Because they, they already have chicken. They should make chicken sandwiches. This is good. I'm going to give it an 8.7 out of 10. With a base like this that's that good, uh, they have like three or four different other ones. I think I've already mentioned them. But I think... Uh, doing the different variants of different flavors of this you have a really good base so I think all the other ones are probably also pretty good as well um, I don't really go to Buffalo Wild Wings that often this was just really to test it and compare it to the other ones I've had before but if I were to go back I would definitely get one of these um, I would try one of the ones I haven't had yet the southern one looked pretty good I think I had like sliced jalapenos and coleslaw and maybe even bacon on it. I don't know, but it looked good. This is good, and I'm going to finish it. I believe this was. No, it's not on here. I think it was like five ninety nine, and you get fries with it. So, decent sized sandwich, pretty good quality, very good taste, plus some fries. Definitely, I think worth the five ninety nine. Doesn't come with a drink, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video of the 
Buffalo Wild Wings hand breaded chicken sandwich. It definitely gets my seal of approval. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next review. Until then, bye.